Today we're going to explore game theory, the bizarre world of why we as individuals, businesses and even countries often unknowingly use game theory to help us make decisions. So stay tuned to find out what it is, who came up with it and why it matters. Imagine driving down a country road. It's night time, you have your lights on to help you see. You consider putting your high beams on to offer you better visibility, but then you see a car coming towards you in the opposite direction. Now we have a second person or player in this game and your visibility no longer depends entirely on what you do. It also depends on what the other driver does. So if they use their high beams, this negatively affects your visibility and by them using low beams, that improves your visibility. So do both drivers put on high beams and hope for the best, both blinded by the glare, or do they dim their lights and safely pass each other by but with slightly less visibility. This is game theory and this is the single most important bit of mathematics that you've probably never heard of. Yet it's laced through our everyday. So when did game theory start? In the early to mid 20th century, John von Neumann and Russell Crowe, sorry I mean John Nash, sought to understand strategic decision making in competitive situations. This led to the formalization of game theory. At its core, game theory is a study of mathematical models of strategic interactions between rational decision makers. It analyzes how individuals or entities make choices when the outcome depends on the choices of others. But why is game theory important? Well, game theory isn't just an academic pursuit. It has profound implications across various fields, from economics and politics to biology and computer science. Game theory provides insights into human behavior and strategic decision making. Okay, so you're probably still thinking, what has this got to do with me? So if you take this example, let's imagine a street with an existing food shop and there's a new entrepreneur who is considering opening another food shop nearby. The decision of where to locate the new shop involves strategic thinking. If the shop opens too close to the existing one, it may lead to competition splitting the customer base and reducing profits for both shops. On the other hand, if the new shop opens too far away, it may not attract enough customers to sustain itself. This scenario illustrates the application of game theory, where the optimal decision depends on anticipating the actions of others and making strategic choices to maximize individual or collective benefit. And while the common belief might be to set up away from competition, the opposite can often be true. In many ways, this is the very reason a country or city becomes known for something in particular. For example, out of the 10 Formula One teams, six of them are situated in England within around two hours drive of each other. So while an incredibly competitive sport, these teams all realize that a critical mass of talent, expertise, and supporting companies are all needed in their quest to become the very best they can be, but they kind of need each other to do that. Game theory was also a critical tool in the de-escalation of nuclear weapons during the Cold War. Through the work of John Nash, policymakers managed to create the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, or SALT, which provided a framework of negotiating reductions in nuclear arsenals while maintaining a balance of power. Again, how can both players continue to play but neither have an overwhelming advantage? Game theory offers a powerful framework for understanding decision-making from the micro-level interactions of individuals to the macro-level dynamics of international relations. Game theory provides valuable insights into human behavior and strategic thinking. Thinking. We are considering doing a more detailed video about how businesses and brands can use game theory to realign their thinking and make decisions based on values instead of interests. If you'd like to see that video, do let us know down in the comments. Now I encourage you to dive into the fascinating world of game theory and see how it shapes our understanding of human behavior and interactions. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share, and drop us a comment. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, strategy, brand, and digital. Until next time, stay curious and see you in the next one.